Now this is actually, I believe, um, one of Shulk's uh, harder matchups. Yes, I've heard the same. Yeah. I've heard the same. And Jay and, and Soul Arts have been having really like close sets in the past. So this, this, this is a best of five too. This is probably the first best of five set they've played. Yeah, I'm very excited to see this one. Here we have Soul Arts already opting for Shield Art. Mm -hmm. I think any sort of vertical combo there, or juggle situation, Soul Arts is going to opt for that Shield Art just to get down whenever he can. Greninja not the best. Once uh once Shulk pulls up the shield art, he might just have to to reset. It's a pretty even game. They're trying to fool each other out. Solar just trying to figure out which arts to to use against Jay because like, you know Greninja is just so slippery. It's Absolutely, really, it's really tough to hit this character in general. And there you see Jay had a really nice whiff punch, dash back, dash in. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna be seeing a lot of that, a lot of the whiff punishes. Yeah, it seems like dash attack is really good for, for that. Mm -hmm. Greninja's main way to get damage, right? Character with lacking out of shield options who can make up for it with whiff punishes. Yeah, because you're definitely going to want to stay on the ground for the most part against Shulk due to his swords being massive. Always want to be ready to position, shield. Oh, going Ooh. for a, he was, a charge. He was for like a charge, I don't know. Oh, he's trying to make the jump there too. But the speed is looking good for, for Jager right here. He looks in control. Or for Toxicro, of course. Should we call him Toxicro or Jay? <laughs> I think they know who it is. Come yeah, on. Yeah, okay. Oh, he's seen some, some nice walking of the patience from Solars. Smash R, yeah, he's on stall stage. Let's trap. These are always scary. Greninja actually like has a pretty high jump, so jumping off ledge is a really good option just to get around like characters in general. Absolutely. And then he can use that time to stall through some of the arts. Oh, Ooh, catches that. That was not true, but Solar did jump out of that and Jay got the stock. Yes, first stock to Jay, off to Croak. Now, actually, it's really strong the shield against uh, Smash R because Smash R does not deal as much shield damage and his throws aren't going to kill Greninja at this percent. Absolutely. And there's okay. the up B. Get another ledge trap situation. I mean, what we see a lot from Solarts is him being able to set up these ledge trap situations, but when can he when can he secure these stocks is the real question. It can yeah. be tricky, especially without Smash Art and the threat so of, uh, with of those areas. playing so evasive. It's yes. just moving around. And in situations like this, Jay is really just looking to to avoid anything. And he has the speed, he has the agility to do so. Yeah, Jay definitely just wants to get a little more percent probably before he loses the stock due to another short raw aerial. Ooh, well, that or we might just take the stock now. Oh, terrible angle sent by that back air, but he's able to get back. Ooh, yeah, that, oh, that seemed like a, a raw I'm, beast. I'm forward. loving this back air usage from, uh, from Jay here. Yeah, Jay is actually... He feels like, no, very in control of the game. Ooh. Oh, in and yeah, out. Look at him just, just oh, and not moving. punishable by that up B. Oh, oh wow. okay. Now, okay. I'm surprised that lightning up air hit. That, yeah. that lightning up air does not really hit much crowd of opponents. Yeah, and he was in the startup of, uh, of an up B right there. A little water. So. I see. Good for Solar though. Ooh. Securing the first stock here. It's been a, a quite a slow paced game, I will say. Down past four minutes already. Both players with yeah. two stocks. I feel like most of the time when with Jay is playing, it's, he mostly plays at, at his own pace, and you have to like keep up with his own pace. It's true. Oh, Solar, get himself back into this. Get another left trap situation. This time he has oh my smash. God. Very scary. He caught the jump at like 70. Oh, and Jay catches oh. the backer, and that's going to do yeah, it. Yeah, you definitely need to deactivate Smash Art when you lose advantage at all. Because the risk of dying is just too great. All right, there's Jay. Nice, solid combo. Yes, Jay in the position right now that he loves so much. Having this sock lead, his percent is mostly irrelevant if he can avoid these hits, these Ooh. parries. Very confident. He's just Jay. playing it safe, just backing off and taking what he has. Oh, and it's, it's really tricky for Solar to get any punishes on these this pressure from Jay, especially when he's playing on the ground. Oh, that was a smart up B hydro pump. Oh, doesn't get the sweet spot. Oh wow! Oh, oh. okay, that was trying to try claw something. That he will do it. Wow, that killed. That was a cross piece. <laughs> yeah, Solar's finally getting the the smash kill he needed here, and once again bringing it back to a pretty close game. Actually, yeah, Shulk is like this is no like safe zone against Shulk. Like he can get one advantage in speed or buster, and then just kill you instantly. Oh, there's a drag down here and no tech. Oh. That's not going to be enough. And you just cannot, yet. cannot go shield art in a, uh, in a, in a, in a knockdown. knockdown. Yes. 
Looking really good for Jay. Alright. They holding on to stage here. Paul does around. not have shield at the moment, so this would be a good time to try to kill him. Oh, Jay playing the, playing the waiting game. Oh, good girl. grab. Oh. The Hydro Ball actually kind of helps Shulk there. Oh my god, that fair would have been oh, huge. No grab there. Oh, and this is where this is where Solar's could easily make something happen. Yeah. His goal right now is get him off stage, get him at ledge. Oh. Jay playing really slippery here. He's full hop, empty hop. Why? Well, oh, falls out of that. Fall on the shuriken. Solar's is still playing pretty confidently, being at 160. Yeah, Jay opting for a lot of these grabs. I think up the whole kill now, right? Oh my god. Oh! Ooh. Very scary. Yeah, Jay always so get out of there. Shulk. Absolutely. Now down to last like last hit. Oh wow. Jay definitely wants that grab. Yeah, I feel like Jay's trying to read a, a, a block after Solar's lanes with an Absolutely, yes. Oh, and oh. Whoa, oh, oh, it drops oh, out. Oh my god. Sakurai. Be sure there's stuff to like a smash tag. There will be a Jay tweet after this. Oh, oh my he god. Gets in by the up air. 181. I feel like instead of down tilt thing, he really should just like grab, I like, grab or smash tag. I expected anything except that down tilt. I don't know. Sometimes like you're in just a zone, you're fixated on hitting something, and you just like you're just not thinking about that. Like, yeah. He was at, he was at 180. Those... He definitely could have died of most other things, but he went for down That's tilt. That's true. Definitely a little bit of a mis miscalculation and there. Even if Jay. even if when Solis fell out of the top air, Solis had shield art ready to save himself. Yes. A game against Shulk that Jay had control over for nearly the entire game, but the pressure really mounts. I mean, you can't, it's tough to play perfect for that now, long against a character who can so easily steal things away. I don't know how strict the away. coaching rules here, but I think they both just got coaching after the first game. Okay, definitely we're looking at Soul Arts right now. Getting uh, getting some instruction here. Uh, I don't think Jay's going for other stages. Jay loves PS2, Soul Arts doesn't really care about stages. I personally feel like PS2 is such a great stage to fight Shogun just because like how big of the stage is and the platforms, like, I feel like it's a perfect stage, like, you just want space when fighting this character. Yes, and I was loving the way Jay was playing neutral here. I think that was, that was the, the furthest thing from the, the issue. He had this game, that game won. The issue is, like, pretty locked securing up. Securing that, that kill in the last stock. Like, yes, absolutely. Some players are, get this power up when they're on last stock. It's kind of crazy. Props to Soul Arts for being very aware of this, the grab conditioning game that Jay is trying to play when he has him at high percent. A lot of players would shield against Greninja knowing that his grab game is pretty lackluster. When Jay tries to counteract that by grabbing, you know, an abnormal amount, Solarch's ready for that. Did we'll not get hit by almost any of those grabs. We we'll see Jay having a, a good start again to this game, and Solar's trying to fight back. Drag down, gets the thing that time. It's the shield art. Solar's oh, whipping Jay some dancing around him. Yeah. Oh, and I oh, love the no idea. Way I, I love the idea. <laughs> Ooh, and he gets that, it that time. No that shield art. Yep. Jay the combo. a strong start to game two after some may say throwing game one. I'm liking it. He's got his confidence still. He's playing the neutral right. Oh, and and wow, that was a great down air by Solarts. Oh, Solarts. The taunt too. Oh my god. He wants that confidence. Wait. Both players looking for it. Yeah. So kind of will get oh, that I'm one. I'm loving this percent for Africa. Jay. He hasn't been looking for those air dodges to ledge. The, you know, the Shulk classic a lot of the time. He doesn't want to commit to those uppies. I mean, how would you say like I feel like Jay needs to really be slow trapping Solars. How should he be doing it with Greninja? It's interesting. I feel like he's positioning properly around that PS2 platform and underneath it rather than getting too close. But I would like to see a mix-up game between throwing out more hitboxes and playing more reactionary for the ledge traps. I think he's playing pretty repetitive there and not getting as much as he could, especially securing the stocks as we saw last game. Ooh, it's a good hit there. Can just catch his Solars. Neutral get up. Oh, Ooh. that pushes him very far. Man, I think that was a Buster get up attack, which yes. made it harder to, for Jay to punish. Very hard to punish. All that stun. Now, when Shul got to his speed art, you really want to avoid getting hit by a uh, Shul Hot Nair. That Nair will that will take you across the stage and he'll, he'll set up the smash art very and, well. And we got to give massive props to Jay here. Half the time, Soul Arts will throw on an art, and Jay will spend the entirety of that art, the entire duration, and not get hit once. I'm really loving how how well he's playing this uh, this evasive game. and he, the ability to switch it on and off 
is very, uh, he's now, doing it very I properly. I don't think Slurk's going to be in Buster at the moment. I think Jay has enough percent. You're just going to get him off stage and actually smash hard. Oh, and there he punishes oh. that up B. That's the, the up B that Solar's trying to avoid with all those air dodges to the uh, to the ledge. Yeah, Solar's in Great recognition from time. Jay. All right. Oh, and he's parries oh. again. And that dash that crossed up. Oh, and look. Just the maneuverability here is key for Greninja. Wow. And he gets him down Ooh. there. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Jay! That was Jay so good! With the most big brain. That. Oh. One million IQ. Jay Grunt secures the Hydro game Pump. Two. Oh. I don't know. Like. Because like, he, he went to the right. Like, he, I think he meant to put Swords under the stage. Absolutely. It looked 100% that, that intentional. That very intentional. One of the best utilizations of a, of a water wind box that I've ever seen. Clean I mean, like, that's something, that, that's something only Greninja can do. Absolutely. Mario and Squirrel, they, they ain't doing that. They're not doing that. that you need a... Although, I mean, I might have to try something. <laughs> might have to, I might have to look the into stage, that. Fall, and then shoot the water. He was facing in. That's the classic. On PS2, you can easily get pineapple under there. And this counterpick and to Hollow Bastion, newly legal stage. Yes, yeah, so this is a new legal stage in Westchester, so our region isn't too used to playing on this stage at the moment, but, you know, we'll learn. Yeah, we'll see how both players uh, adapt here. Jaygrunt, definitely known to attend tournaments here, primarily. Don't know how comfortable he might be on this stage. Um, very comfortable on Elite Smash. Absolutely. Solarts has been to more majors and stuff where this uh, yeah, this, turn this stage may have been legal, so he might feel more yeah, comfortable so here. Yeah, Solarts counterpick the stage at even collision. Yes, very valid counterpick here. I mean, it's just kind of like a bigger Smashville, and I think Schultz likes Smashville, so. Yeah. Smash. And we saw we saw Jay uh, get poked through the ledge last game. Solarts definitely going to be looking for that on uh, on Hydro Ooh. Pumps where Jay is lacking a little bit. A bad counter by Solarts. Ooh, All by a good counter. This is going to take the stock. I did not expect that one. Jay just holding center stage. Oh, there he has there, the shield. shield so let's just ready this time. Yeah. yeah. Great reaction, right? But Jay not deterred. Okay, Jay keep just up the standing pressure. there. Keep, Ooh, keep up the, out the dash tag. This positional pressure from Jay Grant is key. It's going to have to do a lot of Ooh, and so let's call it Jay Grant's bluff covering roll. Oh, and he killed him by wow. going up. Very that smart counter, there. That Very counter smart. activated on top of the platform and hit so much below it. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's trading stocks here. Jay punching like the tech post game. Oh, starting something with shield art. Well, or I think speed Jay art. being a fast faller is saving him right now. Yeah, I think it's about time to go to Buster. Try to get some more damage. Neither player getting a ton off of ledge traps and corner pressure here. I think it's it's very difficult for Solarch to kind of pin down Jay in the corner. This game is so even, even but this game three is going to be so important in the special five set. Absolutely. It's really hard to time. Oh, time to sneaks in the back air there. Jaygrunt doing so well, mixing up his timing, grabbing oh, the ledge. Good stalling off stage, though. Very difficult for Solarch to time that. Oh, Ooh. catches him, hits him the wrong right, way. This edge guard. Oh, he's trying to go oh, for a ledge slip. Smart recovery there, there from Jay. I, I love the the ledge slip from Solar. That's something we've we've known from him for a while. But Jay, very wise to it, decides to recover away from the ledge. Right. And yeah, Ooh, Jay, Jay, not, nice Jay not roll, opting yeah. for ledge traps a lot of these situations. Down tilt. All right, some down tilts. I haven't seen that move that too much this set. Ooh, so it's backed up for the roll, but then punish it. Oh, oh, gets him through that little water shuriken. Not enough. Okay. Ooh, and Solarch backs off. And then goes oh, right back in for the kill. It. Nice. Still had the speed art active. Jay yet again finding himself a little bit down, down to stock. Jay but definitely has to slow it down. Like, you don't want Solarch with the momentum. Let's do it with this buster. Oh, looks for a tech in there, but the shield art would have saved him regardless. Solarts on point with these reactions. Oh, and Jay crossed himself up. Getting shield grab by Solarts. I'm loving the safer play from Solarts. Yeah, but you gotta keep in mind the clock. We're almost at the three minute mark. Ooh. Solarts just spacing his attack oh, so well. He finally gets his, his damage in the corner that he's been looking for. 
Oh, that rough, rough rough for Zay. Very rough. All right. Solar definitely doesn't have to play too risky here. Yeah, Solar playing great from a lead. Oh, but that up there will that do. That was it. definitely risky. Approaching up air. Oh, that was such a great oh. tunnel Oh, up throw. Yeah, Solar's definitely trying to catch some landing. Yeah, stays on the ground. Oh, oh. Catch the shadow sneak with the counter. Not gonna see that one again. Is he moving in and out? Wants to get his damage. Unfortunately, I feel definitely like, oh, could this be Jay's opening? <gasps> oh, oh, it's not enough. The, the air dodge is very smart. So it's not not risking it on any sort it can of. Be so other. scary because Jay could just could just really just kill you. Shulk off any edge guard. Ooh. It's another back air. Oh, Ooh. will this go off the right? It will not. Nope. And Solar is still alive. Smash art. Oh, barely. Oh, is that going to be it? Great Tomahawk. That's not enough. Jay is still alive. Oh, my oh the weight. And Sean does not have Smash Heart at the moment. Oh. oh. That was a great up tilt to catch a jump. Yes. Because, you know, Greninja loves to jump. Absolutely. He's recognizing a little bit more of that game, I think, the way Jay is playing out of the corner. When he, or the timing of his jumps, you know, he's trying to stay on the ground and bait Solarts to, to commit too early, but at some point, Jay will usually opt for a jump. Solarts recognizing this. And if you notice, when Shulk is ledge trapping, the most common option, even for most players, is just a neutral getup. I wonder if Solarts is saving the read, a neutral getup, to end the set. It could be. I, I'm very, uh, I'm excited to see what he does in this game with the ledge traps for sure. Because he does seem to be picking up on a lot of these ledge and corner habits from Jay. And Ling Ling, here he is giving his. Wisdom yes, to Jay. Leland Lin giving the, the Greninja Shulk wisdom. Yes, yeah, so as he plays Peach. <laughs> I wonder how much Ling Ling would actually know about this. Like, is there any oh. Greninja or Shulk players in Connecticut? I wonder. I mean, I think Ling, you know, just with the player knowledge, a veteran yeah. of the game. I mean, I, I think Ling has a meta five, so he's probably just used to coaching in general. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, you, you, you know what you're, it's like having the meta five. Ling's got a meta five. Solar's with the meta five, you know. Look into these guys. They're, they're killing it. Game four, back on PS2. Jay says, back to my home. Yes, yeah, this, this is definitely the, the Pokemon home. Absolutely. I've never seen him <laughs> counterpick another stage, I'll he be honest. He loves PS2. Yeah. And for good reason. He he has very well uh, a very good mastery of a neutral here. Even against a plethora of different characters. Ooh. Oh, oh wow, that four is just 20% on Solar. Jay oh. saving a few of these these possible dash attacks. Solar's kind of panking. First with the raw B and then the counter. Okay. And Jay just like, you know, keep Ooh. moving. Yeah, Jay, Jay's being much less committal here. I'm seeing a lot. The the dash attacks that we saw from game one and, uh, games one and two, primarily, the, those whip punishes, they're more rare. Ooh. Oh, oh staying in Whoa. place. Okay, well, Jay didn't go in for the punish, but Solar's... Game oh, opportunity. that's a strong one. Not enough. Jay at 100. Oh, oh, and can he get it? No, oh, he, no he missed up. The no. Pump. Oh, That, that would have been so huge. That's what Jay's been looking for. Very sad to see that mistiming. But okay. Undeterred again. Even game. The Solar just backs off after landing on stage. And oh, catches that landing up there. Up there again. Is this like a move I don't know about? Very uh, strong here. I, I think... I'm liking the way he's using it to catch Greninja in the air on these platforms. It's, uh, at the very least, it's very solid pressure, but we've seen how the, the power of that move can be really threatening to a lighter character like Greninja. Absolutely. And here we see Solar's Buster Buster. Oh, and the, and the correct, yep. correct weight That's from Jay there. On the, on the plat. Yes, position Probably so why. confident. Another reason why Jay loves this stage. And now we have a pretty even game. Ooh, Solar's overshooting that dash attack. That was very good by him. Yeah, and I I feel like Jay is playing a lot from the corner here. He's he's almost opting for it himself, but we're seeing a lot of damage being racked up on him. Ooh. Another early up B. Yeah, Solar's definitely loves to pull the trigger on that up B. Sometimes it can help, sometimes not. Yeah, and to his credit, he's the punishes have not been too severe. Yeah. Greninja lacking a gigantic damage output, I feel. Jay needs to win these neutral interactions very consistently. Okay, and we got Jay on ledge. Now he's starting to jump more off ledge. I think uh, Solar is starting to scope out the neutral getups. Ooh. I thought the shurikens would be very good, like, like mid-long range pressure. Yeah, these beer versus especially. He's mixing up his movement, oh, but the roll-in. 
got the roll in. Yes, if there's anything Solaris is familiar with, it's catching people rolling oh, in with back air. against <laughs> Shulk. With, with back air, fair. I mean, that is a very classic panic option. Oh, oh little oh. Futsal there. I don't know if that was intentional, but... <laughs> Not much on the uh, on the shield art Shulk. Okay. I Global J Op 4 here is taking a lot of damage. Really yeah, racking up speed quick. Art, Jay has to be careful not to get hit by, by speed art. Oh, he's landing it snowball. Oh my god. He'll go for another. Oh, I love the confidence there from Solar. Yeah, Solar definitely I definitely feel like he knows he's got this set. Yes, and the shield art just completely Ooh. Great parry by Jay to get out oh, of the corner. That's it? No, not enough. And here we have Jay trying to figure out how he's gonna make this comeback. He yeah. loses his stock. This is Torment's stock. Solar's playing, as he has the whole set, playing very, very well around Jay's kind of stray kill hit and Nair's just going to take it off the going to do off the smash art, but I, uh, I respect the the option there from Solar's. He has this lead. He can afford to, to lose a stock going for a, a risky smash art like that. Ooh. Not enough with the up tilt. Oh, it's nice up tilt. Is he going to get up? No, Jay's been jumping every single time. Jay needs to get something started here. I think he can put the pressure on the shield. We gotta be careful though. If we saw anything from game two, Jay could do a certain hydro pump. Absolutely. That's the first time Back Jay here. rolled. Jay's definitely doing such a good job getting off the ledge. It's gonna actually definitely help oh. benefit him. Parry's that landing up there. Oh, so no jump. jump. <gasps> oh, proper oh, wave and even such a great tumble. Not bothering with the, the air dodge in. Oh my god. Solar's is panicking, I feel like. Oh, gets a shield grab on a dash attack. Not enough right there. Right. Will this ledge trap secure it? I feel, I feel confident in Jay getting off this ledge. He yeah, does he, it. He's, he's been so, so good at getting off ledge every single Ooh, time. And no pressure. I think Solar might have to find another way to kill him besides ledge trapping because Jay is just doing such a good job oh. getting off. And that's going to be enough. Oh, he forward. jumps over the F tilt. I, I really appreciate the way Jay was playing at the end there. I just think. I wonder if that was through. a short hot forward air. Would, that, that, would Jay have lived that? You think the F tilt would 